Hi, my name is Shady Atia, professor at Liège University in Belgium, and today I'm giving a presentation for Belgian researchers who are associated or enrolled in any Belgian university on how to access international standards via the EDU MBN. Now, the EDU MBN is a search tool allowing you to search for standards in the library according to the usual criteria. And this presentation can guide researchers who are involved in a master's thesis or a PhD or a research project in Belgium to access these standards. So the goal here is to introduce researchers to the Belgian Standardization Organization and to help researchers to access the MBN, the National Belgian Standards, European Standards or the International Standards in order to use them in their work. Now what is the MBN? It is the Bureau of uh, Standardization uh, and it's a Belgian governmental body responsible for setting standards and promoting standardization. The MBN is responsible for registra registration of all European standards within the system and adhering to them through adding national codes or amendments if needed. There is more than four, uh, 41,000 Belgian international and foreign standards that can be consulted on the website in three different languages in this uh, tool. Now, the MBN is a member of the European Community Standardization Organization and the CEN and the International Standardization Organization also. Now, why should I use standards and why should I access the EDU MBN? Actually, for your quality of your research. To create a study design or research methodology in general, researchers should seek to comply with standardized use of terms of definitions and also they should comply with standardized methods and approaches based on community recognized protocols. If you remember previous presentation on my YouTube channel on how that your work should be linked to an existing community, a research community that works in a specific field, already standards are reflections. They are kind of documentation uh, for agreed methods and protocols and definitions by the community that work on a specific topic. So it's very interesting to go back and visit these standards, read them, learn about them, and use them and integrate them and follow their advices in the methodology that you are using. So ISO standards or European standards in general are internationally agreed by experts and you have to think of them as fundamental formulas that describes the best way of doing something. So let's go for example if I am working on a topic I need to go investigate what could be the terms used there. This is a standard I worked on it personally uh, in the ISO committee uh, on adaptive building elements. So one of the things we worked on in this ISO 52016, uh, we wanted to define double skin facades so that we avoid confusion. And once you get in the standard, you can find the term for this use. And from there, when you are questioned uh, in your research using this term double skin facade, for example, you can directly say, I use the definition according to ISO standard or European standard, and so on. You can use that to give legitimacy and formalize your process of design. Now let's look at some example of standards. The ISO 22000, uh, for example, is food safety management standard. It's a standard that tells you how to manage food in a hygiene and, and, and keep it safe uh, for uh, people. And in this sense, if you are working in this topic and you are doing a PhD or a master's thesis or a research related to food safety or food safety management, you will need to know what is this standard talking about and base your work on this standard. Maybe you can criticize the standard, maybe you can present something new regarding the standard, but definitely the standard should be in the core work of your activity and you need to describe it in your literature review and you need to describe it in your methodology. And therefore when I say standards are useful, there is a lot of other examples. For example, the Physical and mechanical properties of wood, there is a standard for that. If you go consult the standard 13061, you can check how they are defining the physical and mechanical properties of wood, how it can be measured, what are the major threshold for performance, and if you are working in this topic, you can directly start to correlate your work to it. So these are two examples for ISO standards in a specific field. You will need to do the same exercise. You need to always inquire in my field, what are the existing ISO or European standards that I'm working on. So now how to use this EDU MBN interface or tool. Now to get access, first of all, here is the link, EDU period, my MBN period BE. And simply you go search the access. 
you can identify university and with your universal identifier you can try to log in. If you fail to log in, then I advise you to go to your librarian or contact your librarian and ask them for access. Sometimes this can happen through your supervisor. And once you have an access through your university, you can directly access the website and then you will find this interface where you can do your search based on the standard names or based on keywords. And directly you will find a result with a list of different standards that are available in English, French, and Dutch, and sometimes they can be available in German depending on the situation. So, in this case, you should keep into account that this platform is easy to access, you can access it remotely from home, and it's not possibly to download the or print the standards, you can just see them electronically online. But still, this is a good service, especially that these standards cost a lot, uh, and a standard will cost at least 150 euros or around this number to download it and purchase it to be your ownership. And this is now a service uh, you can benefit from with the status of student uh, associated with a university in Belgium. In conclusion to my presentation today, I invite you to look at the EDU MBN. Your research methodology in general should always comply with standardized methods and approaches based on community recognized standards such as ISO, CN, MBN and so on. So make sure that you know about the standards in the community or in the field where you are working. Get familiar with these standards. And the Ed EDU MBN is a very powerful research tool that will allow you to search for standards in the library for free as long as you are associated with a Belgian university. And for sure, I advise you in this case to activate your account, to contact your librarian and get the permission if needed from your supervisor and make benefit from this powerful tool so that you can integrate all these standards that are related to your work in your work, in your methodology, and make sure that you're having a state-of-the-art literature review and a um, methodology that complies with the best practices. By that, I end my presentation on the EDU MBN. I wish you can all benefit from this tool. Thank you for your attention and see you for the next video.